Hi, this is Leslie. Hope you're well. In this video, I want to talk to you about something very interesting and important that happened last week. In fact, I'm going to talk to you about what happened on this chart and this chart and what they potentially could mean going forward and the dangerous consequences that they could have for all of us, you, me, and everybody. So join me. All right, guys, welcome back. So recently I was reading this book, which I've mentioned before. It's called Conquer the Crash 2020 by Robert Prechter. By the way, guys, make sure you get this book and read it. I think it's by far the most important book you'll read for the next five to 10 years. And the reason why this book matters is because it actually challenges an assumption which many people have, even in the mainstream media, about whether we're heading towards inflation or deflation. As you will see from the title of this book, the major threat coming our way is deflation. In fact, Robert Prechter explains in his book that the biggest threat for us in the next 10 years is likely to be deflation, not inflation. Actually, I made a video for you guys. You can have a go and look at it about a brief explanation of why it is deflation as big threat, not inflation. But as you might have noticed, a lot of the people in the mainstream media, especially the financial news channels, they've been pushing this narrative that it is inflation that is the biggest threat coming our way, not deflation. Now, there is actually a good reason for this, because a lot of the mainstream media channels are not telling you things because they're true, but because they're partisan hacks. In other words, they're telling you things not because they are true or factual, but because it is something you want to hear. It's something their audience wants to hear. In other words, a lot of these mainstream media news channels, rather than giving you information which is truthful or factual, instead they tell you things because they want to attack their political enemies or because they're partisan hacks, essentially, is what they are. So that's why, guys, people have lost trust in the mainstream media because essentially they're too much interested in spreading propaganda than giving you facts and information. So guys, that's why in my videos, I want to focus on actual facts and evidence and and looking at things objectively, not through the lens of some political... More rubbish, dear. What? More of that bloody rubbish. But let me explain this point by looking at these charts. Firstly, if inflation was truly a threat, then three things need to be true and happening at the same time. Take a look at this. As Robert Prechter says in his book, for inflation to be a major threat, three things must be happening at the same time. Three markets need to be going up at the same time. What are these markets? Firstly, rising rates, rising yields. So interest rate yields must be going up, which also means bonds need to be going down. Number two, we need to see a rise in foreign currencies like the euro, for example. And number three, we need to see a rise, a sharp rise in the price of gold. And by the way, guys, you guessed it. For deflation to be true, for deflation to be a threat, the exact opposite applies. So we just reverse everything. For deflation to be a threat, well, what you need is a rise in bonds, rise in bond prices, which also means a fall in interest rate yields. Number two, you need a rise in the US dollar, which also makes sense because when the dollar is dropping, usually it's a sign of devaluation of the currency and actually that is inflationary. And the third thing you need for deflation is falling prices in gold. Now, here's what just happened recently on all these three charts, chart of bonds, chart of the US dollar, and the chart of gold. Let's begin, first of all, with bonds. Remember, rising bond prices is deflationary, okay? Look what happened in the price of bonds. This is a TLT, 20-year treasuries, recently. After the huge crash we've seen the past several months, I think what's happened is the price of bonds have likely bottomed. In fact, it's possible to argue that we're potentially seeing a higher low, maybe an uptrend in bonds. You can see a potential higher low here in bond prices. So I actually think it's probable and it's gaining probability that bond prices have likely bottomed. I think that as long as TLT bond prices remain above this low they made here, which on TLT is about 137 to 135, as long as TLT, as long as bonds remain above this level, then the probability is that we're heading towards deflation, not inflation. And we could see a rising bond prices. Now, if I'm wrong and TLT or bonds fall below that level, below the support level, then I'll have to change my mind and perhaps argue that inflation may be a threat. But for now, it looks as though bond prices may have bottomed as long as it remain above that level, 137. What about the chart of the US dollar? The US dollar just recently broke a key resistance trend line. Look at that. The US dollar on this chart, just very recently last week, rallied very strongly and it broke above that trend line. Now, it is true that sometimes these breakouts can be false breakouts. It's possible. So I'm not saying just because of a few days rally in the dollar, suddenly the reverse trend. It's possible, but at the moment, it's not highly probable. All I'm saying is there are some things happening on the charts which are concerning, especially when you think about potential deflationary signs. So it does look as though the US dollar has just broken key resistance trend line there. And if that continues, if the dollar continues to push up higher and stay above that support, 
then yeah, perhaps the US dollar has reversed trend and we are seeing deflationary forces winning. And lastly, the price of gold. As the dollar rallied, gold prices dropped. Gold, in fact, fell below the falling trend line you see there. In other words, gold prices dropped and fell below support below the trend line. Now, again, I realize that one day or a few days does not make a new trend. So it's possible that these changes in price could be corrections. It's possible. We'll have to wait and see. Again, I'll have to review the situation in a few months' time and see where we're at. But for now, I think the fact that they're breaking support, breaking structure, breaking trend lines, it is concerning. I'm not saying it's a reversal in trend just yet, but again, it is certainly concerning and worrying that we're seeing changes occurring. Uh, again, key levels being broken. We shall have to wait and see in another few months whether these same patterns are existing or whether the trend is resumed. We shall see. But for now, it does appear that the three things you need for inflation to be true, as you can see here, are not happening. And by the way, I should also mention the euro dropped as the US dollar rallied and went higher, which is, of course, natural because the euro is inverse to the US dollar. So what does any of this mean? It means that so far, the three things you need for inflation to be true are not actually happening. So the three criteria for an inflationary threat are right now being put under stress. And it seems quite the opposite is happening. We're seeing signs of deflation coming into play, especially with the rise in bond prices and especially with the rise in the US dollar and the falling gold. So I shall make a video update for you on this situation in the next few months and see where we're at potentially in this inflation deflation situation. And again, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and enable notifications. Before I finish the video, let me just quickly say this. I did a very interesting and educational webinar with Guy Cohen, who is a leading expert on options and hedging strategies, also the best-selling author of Options Made Easy. So you can watch the replay of our webinar when you join the membership. And you can join and become a member on that link you see right there. Thanks very much, guys. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.